Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a start to finish makeup look for you guys. This is just an everyday summer look that I wear um, pretty routinely um, using um, two MAC eyeshadows. It's really fast and really simple. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started. First off, I'm going to do um, foundation and I'm going to wear my Matte Velvet Plus in number 30. Um, I just put a little bit right here on my hand like that and then I take my Sephora number 55 airbrush and pounce it into the product like that and then I just kind of stipple it all over my face this is a full coverage foundation I haven't done a review on it yet but um this is coming soon I just got this from Sephora about a week ago so I just blend this out really well this is a nice foundation because you don't really have to use a um, under eye concealer with it. You just blend around the eye area with it or on the nose. And then out to the side of the face. I usually start in the middle of the face and try to work outwards because you want more product towards the center of your face than towards the edges. Okay, and then I have some more product left, so just pounce that in there. Get the forehead. And this brush is synthetic, so it doesn't eat up um, a lot of the product, and it won't damage the brush over time, which I like a lot. Okay, so that's pretty much how I do my foundation. Like I said, I just blend it out, get all the product that I put on my hand onto my face so I don't waste any. Okay, so there's the foundation. Um, next up, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Just put a little of this on my lids. And I just blend this with my finger. Some people use a brush, but... I just use my finger to blend this out. Okay, and I'm going to be using two MAC eyeshadows for this look. Um, Naked Lunch and what's the other one called? It's not Gold Mine. Naked Lunch and Amber Lights are the two colors I'm going to use. So first up, I'm just going to take an all-over um, brush color, or brush like this. This is the SS, SE 252 from MAC, and then I'm going to take this Naked Lunch right here, this color, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Um, all the way up to the brow bone. This is like a nice champagne pink color. Not very dark, not a lot of uh, co overt color going here. But I, I find that I love this color as my base. Pretty much can use it with anything. This is probably one of my... These two sh um, sh shadows are like my all-time favorite MAC shadows. I just never get sick of them. Um, okay, and next I'm going to take um, this Clinique brush like this. I'm going to put it into the amber lights. And then I just put that, that in the crease area and do the windshield wiper motion. All I like to do it all in the eye. Some people only like to do like part. But I really like this gold color and I kind of want it to really stand out. Okay, do the same on the other eye. And I like to keep my eye open when I blend so I can kind of get like an idea for where it's going to end up or how it's going to end up looking. And then you can kind of know like if you should put more product on your brush or not. But that's that. And honestly, that's all I do for my eyes. Just two colors. Naked Lunch and Amber Lights in the crease. If you want them to look a little more dramatic, you can use more Amber Lights or use a darker um, crease color again. But this is just kind of like an everyday neutral eye look that I like to wear to class and things like that. Um, then I take my Ulta Aut Automatic Eyeliner. Um, I like this because it's like a crank style. 
and I just like to line like the upper upper lid just pretty lightly just a nice line nothing too crazy And I don't like to put too much liner in my bottom lashes, or my bottom um, lid, because it makes your eye look smaller if you put too much liner, I think. So I just kind of line the inside like that. <clears throat> you could curl your eyelashes, but I'm not going to today because this is a quick look. I'm just going to take the MAC Pro Lash, wiggle it, bring it up. I love this mascara a lot. It's one of my favorites. Because it's, it's dramatic, but not like clumpy, not too much. Sometimes I find the Zoom Lash is a little much for every day. Okay. And then I like to get, put a little on my bottom lashes. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm using my Clinique powder brush, just the tip of it. Contour my cheeks. And I like to put a little up by my forehead, down my nose. Give me a little bit of color so it looks like I'm a little tanner than I actually am. And this isn't really a contour brush, so it's not really delivering it very like pigmented. But, I mean, I have other brushes that if you wanted the look to be a little more dramatic, you could use. Um, and then last, I'm going to take my Deep Throat by NARS and just put this on the apples of my cheeks. And this is just a peachy little pink, kind of has a little shimmer in it. I like really dramatic cheeks, so I like to put a lot on. Okay, and this is my look. Um, with this foundation, you don't have to set with the powder, and you really don't have to wear a concealer either. So, I really like this look because it's just an everyday kind of bright, lots of peaches, lots of golds, um, and with my skin tone, I think it works rather nicely. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's really simple. If you have any questions, um, the start to finish look is really easy. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.